Today we're here with Valentin Ananikov, the head of the laboratory at the Zelensky Institute of Organic Chemistry and member of the Russian uh, Academy of Sciences. Valentin is our 2016 Organometallics Distinguished Author Award winner and uh, one of the first from Russia to have such a distinction among ACS publications. So, so Valentin, it's uh, a real honor to be here. Thank and, you, Paul. And uh, congratulations on uh, the lectureship. And we very much look forward to having you in Philadelphia at the ACS meeting and hear your lecture about uh, whatever topic you choose. Thank you very much, Paul. It is my great honor to receive this prize from Organometallics and especially from Organometallics, because Organometallics is my favorite journal. And I really published many papers in this journal. So how did you become interested in chemistry? And uh, I'm sure uh, you have a story, like most of us do, that as you developed your career in chemistry, you had important mentors who helped uh, shape your interests, and, and especially in organometallic chemistry and in catalysis. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Thank you, Paul. Uh, from my first years in, in high school, I, I was pretty sure that I will be a scientist because I wanted to do research. And I was interested in natural science, chemistry, physics, and biology. And I would say that was, I was almost equally interested in these three fields. And the final choice was made at high school when I was at the age of 14 because uh, I have met with a, a really excellent chemistry teacher at the high school. And this was a turning point. So uh, it is not very common that we have really very fascinated and inspired teachers at the high school. And uh, uh, she told me about chemist. She told us about molecules and chemistry in such an unusual way, like uh, the molecules can burn when we synthesize them. The molecules live their life. <laughs> and the molecules can die <laughs> when they go to to be destructed. Or, and it was so inspiring and so unusual that I really loved chemistry. So I was sure that I will like research. But concerning chemistry, the choice was made due to the high school teacher. Mm -hmm. And this was and this, and now I think it is a crucial point. Usually we forget about high school teachers. But this is one of the most crucial points in order to make a choice and in order to be inspired with science. In order to be inspired in science, you have to be in contact with another person, which is already like, loves the science. And uh, this is the story how I loved chemistry. And now I'm very happy that I made this choice. Mm -hmm. So in, in high school, did you have much laboratory experience? Did you do much wet chemistry or was it all theoretical and textbooks at that point? We had a laboratory and it was um, well equipped because this was high school which was um, organized during the Soviet time. And it was very well equipped and we did laboratories. And uh, most of them, of course, are dealing, we are dealing with inorganic chemistry, more simple one, but also some experiments with organic chemistry. Mm -hmm. So we really did experiment at, this, at the high school. So then take us through how you chose organometallic chemistry and catalysis, uh, maybe through your PhD times. Well, I came for PhD at the at Zelinsky Institute for Organic Chemistry, and it was in 1996. And at that time, organometallic chemistry was really a fascinating field of science. It was everywhere. We had a lot of conferences in organometallic chemistry, and I attended one of these conferences as a PhD student, first year PhD student. And it was so amazing to see the metals, unusual binding, not only sigma bonds, but very different kinds of bonds, different structures, very beautiful X-ray structure of organometallic compounds. So definitely organometallic chemistry was um, really a um, um, highly and rapidly developing area at that time. And uh, since after that we observed an evolution of organometallic chemistry moving mostly like uh, to catalysis, for example. And if you attend organometallic conference now, most likely you'll hear talks about catalysis, but still the core of catalysis, the fundamental core is organometallic chemistry. And I believe that uh, this will be really a very challenging uh, point to discover uh, the true relationship between structure and catalytic activity. Of course, a lot of research has been done already, but several questions are still open. And organometallic chemistry is the field which is going to give an answer to these challenging questions.